everyone. We are in the outside patio portion of Roaring Four. I got the bison cheeseburger from Geyser Point, and John has the pulled pork from Roaring Fork. So we're gonna split these and be able to try both. Um, here's the bison cheeseburger. Looks like it has bacon, cheese, uh, the onion straw, um, barbecue sauce. There's some mayonnaise looking thing underneath the lettuce, but I don't know what that is. And waffle fries. Um, very good burger. So the first bite was pretty good. The <clears throat> sauce on the top isn't really that flavorful. So if you want more, I would ask for more. <coughs> Not exactly sure what the stuff on the bottom is, but it's pretty good. It's cooked nicely. Um, it just kind of is tied together very well. And I like it. So I ended up getting the barbecue pork sandwich at the fork and they said that they cooked it for 10 hours so we will see how it goes. Overall um, it's a pretty good pulled pork sandwich. Um, it is very juicy. Um, there's not that much of barbecue sauce on it, as you can tell. Um, so I did get extra packets to just in case if I did want to add more barbecue sauce on it. But it's a pretty good sandwich for quick service. I would definitely recommend it. So we just got finished eating both sandwiches. Me personally, I recommend the barbecued pork because it is only $11 compared to $18. For the bison burger, the bison burger was really good. Um, both fries, the waffle fries for the bison burger, and the fries you got for the barbecue pork sandwich, um, they're, they're both subpar. They weren't that good. Um, and then Noel, what, what do you think? Um, I would prefer the bison burger. Um, I'm not a huge pulled pork per pulled pork person. Um, Price, uh, I think it was pretty reasonable for a bison burger because they're naturally more expensive. Um, but yeah, it was a pretty good lunch. So now we're gonna try this dessert, and it looks pretty good. It's a lot of chocolate. Um, I guess we will see how um, this goes. Oh, no. Ah. All right, so the top is pretty slippery. Mm -hmm. Is this a brownie or? Not sure. I think it's a cupcake. Oh. That's good. That's not too chocolatey. Mm -hmm. um, the marshmallow on top gives it a little sweetness. Not a chocolate cake person, but I do like it a lot. Mm -hmm. Ooh, man, I think it's just dripping down. Okay. Okay, we'll see how this goes. Noelle is right. It is a a lighter chocolate. Um, the marshmallow on top, I believe, is marshmallows. The marshmallow on top does make it sweeter. Um, I think it costs six dollars, which I really don't think is that bad because two people could definitely support this um, since it is a pretty big cupcake. Overall, um, I think all the food was pretty good. Um, I do like food for both places. We did also have drinks at Geyser Point Sunday night and drinks were very, very pricey. Our average about $15 for an alcoholic drink. Um, we did have the 
What was the uh, appetizer we had? What was it called? Brisket dip. Yeah, we had the brisket dip. And uh, I would definitely recommend the brisket brisket dip there. Um, you do get the brisket, cheese brisket with um, a side of chips to dip. And that was really good, but they only have their appetizer menu after 10 p.m. And I think we showed up at like 10, 10, so the full kitchen wasn't running. But overall, um, I really do think uh, Lourdes Lodge has, has some good food so far of what we tried. And we will uh, pick it up later today. With We're going back to the Magic Kingdom after this, so we will let you know how that goes. And that is our food review for the Roaring Fork and for Geyser Point. We do have dinner later tonight at Whispering Canyon. So please let us know in the comments below what you think about, about either of these two places.